The special rejuvenating power of oysters have been debated over the ages. However, where there has never been a debate or doubt is in its nutritional value. World over, it is considered a health food. Okay, it's delicious. It's very good. Scientific studies have also proved that oysters play a major role in maintaining the ecological balance in the waters they grow. The CMFRI has taken research on oysters a step forward by transferring the oyster farming technology to different self-help groups across the coastal belt of Kerala. CMFRI has now proved that oysters are indeed a health food and that it could be made into an economical, viable food produce. Let us see one such oyster farming area in central Kerala. This is Satar Island. This is the estuary where oyster farming has been done by CMFRA for the last one decade. This estuary opens to the Arabian Sea and has been found to be very, very congenial for oyster farming. During the last five to six years, we have been doing oyster farming and it was found that this technology can be very beneficially used for the development of women's self-help group. One of the advantages of the technology is that it is very simple, it does not require much input and the tropical condition of the, our country has uh, helped us to reduce the grow out period to just 6 to 8 months. And under one project funded by the World Bank called the National Agriculture Innovative Project, the CMFRA has been trying to popularize oyster farming and increase oyster production through farming. Okay, let us go to the village now and see how CMFRA is trying to disseminate the technology and also how the villagers are very actively involved in different activities of oyster farming. Please come. Identifying the location is very important to oyster farming. The water should have a salinity of 15 to 35 ppt and should not be polluted. It is best to avoid waters where industries discharge their effluents into the water. The location should have a depth between 1.5 to 3 meters with a mild current. This place is ideal for oyster farming for all these reasons. Calm climate with no industries nearby to pollute the waters. The waters here have the ideal depth and a gentle flow. Let us see how we could do the farm construction. The farm is constructed as a simple rack made up of bamboo or casuarina poles. About 25 poles are required to make a 5 by 5 square meter rack. The poles are sharpened at one end and driven into the bottom of the area selected for farming and more poles are tied horizontally to these poles to form the rack. Now the rack farm is ready for stocking. 
the male members of the family have carefully chosen the bamboo poles so that the bamboo poles are strong they have avoided hollow bamboos and now a strong rack has been constructed in the testuri this farm will be stocked by the with good rents prepared by the uh, female members of the family and after this the farm will be in full swing for the next 6 to 8 months in kerala the ideal time for starting a farm is november or december when spat the seedlings of oysters are abundant let us now see how the empty shells are prepared empty oyster shells can be collected from the farms where farming is already over or is ongoing These empty shells are cleaned and a hole is made in the middle using suitable tools. These are then treaded into a chain of about 1.5 meters with a space of about 20 cm between the shells. This chain is called as a ren and each shell is called as a culch. These rens are prepared by the entire family especially the women and children just before the season. Usually a ren of 1.5 meters will have 5 shells strung on a 4 mm nylon rope. For a 25 square meter rack like the one we just saw about 500 rens are required. These rens are then shifted to the farming area where racks are already prepared. These rens are then suspended inside the rack structure at equal distances. Care should be taken that they do not touch the bottom of the river. Within a week into the season the spat settles into the stringed shell cultures and the farm is ready for cultivation The spat produces a cement like substance with which it sticks onto the cultures and once it is bonded it cannot detach and will grow and reproduce from the culch itself The oyster spat filters phytoplankton and other minute organic matter from the surrounding water and grows in length and weight. The advantage in oyster farming is that there is no need to give supplementary feed since the oysters get the feed from the surrounding water. The spat grows to a harvestable size of 60 to 70 mm in 5 to 6 months. Oyster seeds can also be produced in hatcheries. The technique for oyster spat production at hatcheries has been developed and standardized by CMFRI. We are now at one such hatchery in Narikil near Satar Island. The brood stock are collected from the natural bed, cleaned and kept in the conditioning room where the temperature is low. The oysters are fed with mixed algae and after 2 weeks they are induced to spawn by slowly raising the temperature. The fertilized egg passes through several stages and settles at the bottom after becoming the pedivilager.
When the larvae are about to set, cleaned and drilled empty oyster shells are kept for settlement of larvae. After the larvae settles on the culch, they are allowed to grow for one month in the hatchery itself and then transferred to the farm. Now, let us see how the oysters are harvested. Before harvesting, the condition of the oyster must be checked. One important factor is that if the oyster is spent or already spawned, then the harvest will have to be postponed. Here, we cannot harvest now because of the small size of the oyster. Normally, 5 to 7 months are sufficient for harvesting, but in some cases, Due to climatic conditions, oyster growth will be delayed. Let us check another oyster farm which is ready for harvesting. In 5 to 6 months, the spats have grown and reached harvestable sizes. Many spats have attached itself around the original one and it looks like a cluster now. Yes, this is a very good oyster and we can see that the meat occupies the entire cavity of the shell. This indicates that this is the right time to harvest the oyster. The farmer will get maximum profit from these kind of oysters. These oysters are then taken out of the water and shifted into a cleaning area for depuration. Here we have to jet wash the oysters to remove the silt settled over them. Now the oysters are declumped by carefully separating the oysters from their place of attachment. The separated oysters are placed in depuration tanks containing settled, clear, filtered water. Oysters have to be depurated before they are marketed mainly because they are filter feeder. Depuration is the process by which oysters are purified by placing them in good purified seawater for a specific time. The oysters will filter and take in the purified water and their gut will be clear and the bacteria will also be eliminated. Such oysters will be ultra pure. This water used for depuration is pumped to a settlement tank from the nearby estuary. For filtration, the settled water is taken through a series of cartridge filters which will physically remove particles in the water. Then, this water is taken through a UV filter to destroy all the microbes contained in the water and this water is used for depuration. The depuration tanks should have a slope and the oysters should not touch the bottom. Here, the farmer is loading live, jet-washed oysters